Hello again, viewers, and greetings, fellow space travelers. This is Thorn of Night, and welcome to episode 56 of my Wolfenstein Minecraft series. And I am in the elevator from the end of the last episode. Just double checking, make sure everything's where I want it before I move on to ooh, floor five. And thank God there are some torches. As a matter of fact, well, now I'll leave this room lit. Uh, because I went through all of my torches in that last episode. Every last single one of them. Didn't even have room for enough to uh, light up the area near the elevator. So I blocked off the door. What do we have in here? Oh, spawners. Spawners, go away. No, 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 no. Ha! All right. Things to talk about. Well, uh, recently, uh, over the last, I don't know, almost three weeks, I have been sort of shirking my recording duties. I've still been putting up videos, and I still have several more videos that I need to put up, and I would have several more put up if it weren't for the fact that my internet is acting a little wonky. But uh, I, I have taken a little bit of a break from recording, not because I don't want to record, but more because I have been having lots of different stuff going on in real life that I need to focus some of my attention on. And so I've just been sort of sliding by on the stuff I already have recorded, I think. There's a secret right here. There it is. So, uh, I am back on track, I think, with with uh, my, my regular recording activities. It's just I've been taking a little bit of a break. Uh, however, in between the break, or during the break, or whatever, why am I carrying that? I have also been uh, familiarizing myself with some... Uh, new games in my uh, collection and and uh, making some plans to uh, perhaps get one or more other series started probably after uh, some of the stuff that I have going right now comes to an end um, for instance the rotary craft guide once I get that done I will have uh, some more time during my uh, week to get, I don't know, maybe one or two more uh, episodes of stuff recorded. Um, I am, even though I'm having current internet trouble, I am uh, still planning on the possibility of getting a little bit better internet service so I can uh, start doing some uh, maybe two episodes of something a day, uh, or, or two different episodes, rather, a day, uh, and get those recorded so I can have a little bit more stuff going on for you guys. Um, I have not given up on my channel, not even close. I have just been uh, a little bit, I guess, I guess overwhelmed is a good enough word. Somewhere around here. There we go. Uh, but among the things that I am uh, planning on doing some recording on in the future, whether immediate or uh, somewhat distant, I have recently received a gift of the game Space Engineers. And uh, it is, I, I guess, a mining sort of game. Uh, set in space where you go around this asteroid field and uh, acquire resources. And yes, I'm stealing these torches because I, I think I want to have a little bit more of a backstock. But anyway, uh, Space Engineers is kind of an interesting game. It's... There is building. You can make ships and things. Um, but... It isn't so much geared around uh, building structures 
as it is, I, I don't know, just sort of, as far as I can tell, mostly gathering resources, but uh, it's an interesting enough game. I'm going to take a look at it uh, and consider it for recording. I need to go this way. Uh, but there's no guarantee on that. Let me know if you'd like to see it. I, I will I will be more than happy to consider it uh, further if you guys want to see that added to my... That scared me. My <laughs> list of things! Oh my god. So the bat scared me, but that really... Hello. You could have warned me. You came around the corner, you could have... Oh my... Oh, yeah, I have punch or whatever it is on here. Ha. <laughs> ah, that spider actually scared me. Anything else? Immediate. No. Anyway, um... Uh, yeah, there's Space Engineers. Another game I picked up recently. Uh, it's actually free. Free to play. It's uh, available on Steam. It's a game called Unturned. And you may be familiar with my Seven Days to Die series. Uh, a zombie apocalypse game where you are trying to survive in the harsh post-apocalyptic world. Uh, and, and it's voxely and... Uh, there's lots of stuff that you can craft and, and build. Well, this is a little bit similar, only it's toned down a little bit on the graphics, down to uh, the uh, the simpler cube forms of games like Minecraft. I did that. Yes, I did. Uh, but that does not make it any less fun of a game. Uh, it is a very interesting game. I have been enjoying what I've played of it uh, very thoroughly and am definitely looking forward to uh, perhaps adding that to my channel's list of series that I will be working on. Uh, it is still early access and it is... Uh, still being worked on, so there's plenty more to come with it. But as it stands right now, it's it's a full game, and it's it's very fun. It's a sandbox game, just like uh, many of the other zombie survival games that there are now. Um, I I wouldn't say it's a huge world, but that may change. I don't know. There may be. Uh, procedurally generated worlds in the future for, for this game. I'm not sure. But for right now, there's there's just a, a couple of worlds that you can uh, explore and work in. Uh, one is, I don't even know how to pronounce it, Pei, P, something like that, P-E-I. And it is supposed to be an island off the east coast of, uh, of Canada, I, I think. I'm not 100% on that, but it is cut off from the rest of the world, and there are zombies around uh, all over the place, but there is lots of stuff to do, lots of stuff to craft, uh, lots of zombie types, although the the varieties of zombies in uh, Unturned aren't the sort of variety that you would expect from like a game... Like Seven Days to Die, where there's some runners and some climbers and some big bloated guys. No, it's uh, it's a little bit more toned down, but uh, it doesn't mean that you can just uh, scoff at them. The the zombies are a little bit annoying, especially in large numbers, and especially early on because you are going to start off with a rough go at things. Uh, no real weapons immediately, uh, nothing. You basically uh, have diddly squat to work with. And is there... I don't remember... No, there isn't a secret there, but there is a secret back here that I totally forgot about. 
How? I cleared you. I guess you spawned there or something. Anyway, there's a secret right here. And I totally missed it. Anyway, um, it's, it's pretty fun. There are vehicles that you can uh, scavenge and drive around. It's... Uh, it is sandboxy, so you don't have to worry about uh, uh, any sort of guided quest line where you have to rescue the princess and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's just try to survive and make do with what you can find. And then once you get a knack for su survival, start thriving, building stuff, crafting things, upgrading your gear, that sort of stuff. It's, it's, a, it's pretty fun. Uh, the, uh, the mechanics of it are pretty nice. Another one. Ah! N no boom for you, sir. Anyway, back this direction. Uh, also recently, I have, for the first time, played... I, I know some of you might be in shock about this, but... I had never actually really played much beyond the demo of Duke Nukem 3D uh, back in the 90s. And I enjoy it, and I enjoy those style games, but I had just never actually sat down and played them. I've owned them. I have the Megaton Edition on, on disc, and uh, it's sitting in my room somewhere collecting dust and occupying space and otherwise serving no purpose. But recently, I decided to start playing it. And I don't know what I was thinking not playing this game before. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. And I have beaten all of the expansions for it. And, uh, it is quite possibly now one of my most favorite first-person shooter games. It is very fun to play and very entertaining as well. I, I completely love it. But, uh, I had a thought, um, after I'm done with this series... I will be going on to, it looks like, as far as the voting uh, is concerned last time I looked, uh, I will be going on to the Spear of Destiny, and then after that, I'll be moving on to the Blake Stone games, but after that, I want to do, uh, uh, I want to do some other games re recreated in Minecraft, well, not so much recreated, just re-represented, uh, including some of the other id software games like the doom uh, games and heretic and hexen but also is it this one i think it's this one yep it's this one uh i i think i want to add to my list of stuff to do to be to try to recreate the duke nukem games uh they are very very fun and entertaining and the maps are very well designed and really make you think, especially if you uh, are, are not paying full attention to your environment. It's, it's, it can get pretty confusing, uh, and I don't mind that, but uh, it is a, a new favorite of mine. I will say favorite. And I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I don't know what I was thinking, never having played it before. But now that I have played it, I, I cannot uh, understand even remotely, oh boy, why I never really pursued them before. Uh, it is a mystery to me. But now that I've played them, I'm happy. And I, I own them. And... I am I'm probably going to uh, invest some time in the future in uh, completely memorizing all of the levels because that's what I tend to do with those games. But that's 
going to be a future project, personal project, who knows. As far as this is concerned, though, I am done with this episode. Uh, I have reached the elevator. So, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions on this or any of my other series, please feel free to leave, leave a message in the comment section below. I will do my best to get back to you as quick as I can as soon as I see your message. Uh, if you like this video and you like what I'm doing here, please feel free to give a like. I do appreciate that. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe so you know when my future stuff comes out. Also, don't forget to vote on whether you want me to do Spirit Destiny or Blake Stone next uh, in my Minecraft building endeavors. Um, also, the once the final episode of this series is uploaded, I will be uh, putting up the the full package of the whole Wolfenstein 3D thing, all 60 floors, as a single map uh, available for download. And I will leave that in the link for the final episode, so look forward to that. But that you're going to have to wait for that. It's pretty much done now, but I'm going to wait until I'm done with the series before I upload it. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up here. Thank you once again for watching. This is Thorn of Night, and I will talk to you later.